Well, it's a, it's like a dream come true for me. It's like a complete circle in terms of my career and where I where I started when I was drafted out of college, and to be able to circle back after thirty some years, thirty two years to be exact, and and become the head coach is like a dream come true because I never thought I would ever even come back to New York. First and foremost, leadership. He just has this, you know, this aura about it that the players respect him. It's not something that just happens without hard work. They have to respect you. And he's had pretty much, I'd say, mutual respect, you know, from the players, the coaches, and he respects them also. He just knows how to relate and he's straightforward, or you don't have any doubt about what he's asking of you. If you're not prepared and think you can go out and fake it with the players that you coach, it's not going to work. Uh, then you're talking about friendship. He's taking care of, of me and the rest of us, um, you know, not just as head coach and assistant coach, but, but more is just that, that friend that's there if you need something. But his concern for others, particularly his family, that's something that you can't fake. Well, I think about my family because they've been with me from the time I started playing the game of basketball, and they watched the roller coaster ride that I took. Loyalty. You know, the biggest thing to me and about him is, is he's just a loyal person. A person that's loyal to performance. That's him. If he's told me tomorrow to start walking to the West Coast, I'm, I'm gonna start walking. Loyal to himself and then loyal to his players. He's truly worthy of being one of the top coaches in, 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 the, in the world. Well, it's not about me. You know, I don't coach for me. I coach for my family. I coach for my players and the fans. I'm real glad that Mike Woodson's coaching the team. I'm glad he's here. Me too. I think we're gonna see some uh, great things out of Woodson this year. I love him and I hope he stays. All Knicks. I mean, it's not something that just happens. You can't just roll it out there and think, you know, it's gonna happen for you. You gotta train or you gotta be dedicated to your craft. There's not that many jobs in our league. I, I don't care how you cut it. I live each day just trying to figure out how I'm gonna get better as a coach and how our team is gonna get better. Uh, but at the end of the day, you still gotta play the game and you still gotta win. Somebody's gotta lose. And I'm just hoping we're on the winning end of it.